Hello everyone, it's May here and for this tutorial we're going to do a quick little tutorial on how to crochet a small tassel. Um, you're going to need of course your crochet needles and I'm using a 3.5 millimeter and a 2.5. I'm also using a size 3 yarn or thread and the buttons that I've selected are um, these here and you need to make sure that your needle goes through the buttonholes. Now you will need four buttonholes on your button so keep that in mind. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to wrap it around your your pointer finger or your index finger whichever you want to call it and you're going to make 14 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oops, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Once you have fourteen, I take my finger and I'm going to place it on that last one. And I'm going to chain four more. One, two, three, four. Now, um, you're going to count and skip four chains. One, two, three, four. And you're going to chain or um, yarn over your needle. And you're going to go to that fifth one that I was holding in place. Put your insert your needle in. Pull through and you'll have three on your needle. Yarn over, pull through two loops, and you'll have two. Yarn over and go through that same hole, pull through and you'll have four. Yarn over, pull through, two loops, you'll have three, yarn over, go back through that hole, pull through and you'll have five on your needle now, yarn over and go through two loops, one, two, you'll have four now. Once you have four you're going to yarn over and you're going to go through three loops and then you'll have two on your chain or your needle. Yarn over and you're going to do a quick slip stitch right there. And then you have the start of a leaf cluster. Now, chain three, one, two, three. Go back to those two that you did a slip stitch on. Go in and pull through and do another slip stitch there. Now, you'll have that. Yarn over and pull four chains. One, two, three, four. Now, go in, do that big old loop that you had right there, and you're going to do another slip stitch. And you're going to do a slip stitch on the next two chains after that. That's one. So now we're going to go to the next chain, do another slip stitch there. a hard time with this one. I'm turning sideways here. Okay. And on the next one, go in and pull. My body's turned sideways. Sorry, ladies. Uh, okay. So that's on the next two chains. We did a slip stitch. And now you're going to chain 14 again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Again, you're going to hold it in place on that 14th. Chain four. One, two, three, four, yarn over, 
go through that fifth one. One, two, three, four. We're going to go to that one that I'm holding in place, put my needle through, pull through, and we'll have three. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through the hole. Pull through, now we have four. Yarn over, pull through two, and you'll have three on a chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You'll have now four. When you have this little cluster, just like that, you're going to yarn over and pull through three this time, and you'll have two left on the hook. Yarn over and do a little slip stitch, and that's your little first leaf cl uh, cl cluster. Chain four, or three, sorry, one, two, three, go through, pull, do a slip stitch there, chain four, one, two, three, four, go through all that little cluster loop, do a slip stitch there, ah, again, slip stitch there, and do a slip stitch on the next two chains. I can do this for a living, ladies. Woo. Do a slip stitch on the next chain. Okay, so now you have another leaf. Now you're going to, again, do 14, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. This time I want to change my needle because I know I can't insert that one in my... I'm going to grab my button and I'm going to hold it in place like that and take my needle put it in through one of the loops, pull the thread through, and you should have something like this, right? Then you're going to slip stitch, chain over, or yarn over, and then you're going to do uh, three chains, one, two, three, Go back into the next little hole, pull your thread through. Now have these like that. Chain or a slip stitch there. And then now you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Go to your next hole, pull the thread through. You'll have it like that. Do a little slip stitch. Chain three. One, two, three. Go to your next hole and pull your thread through. You want your needle to be sitting on top of that button. Do a slip stitch through both loops. Now chain three, one, two, three. Go to the, the hole that you first started in, go in, and it's a little tight snug there. Oops. It's a tight snug. Okay. All right, single, do a little slip stitch there. Now do three chains. One, two, three. Now you're going to do a slip stitch on the first stitch of your button. Okay, to join those two together. All right, now 
you can keep it this way or you can do a little flower whichever you want to do um, just make sure <clears throat> if you're going to do a flower that you have um, or you can you know just keep going on like this but let's do a little quick flower so we're going to do a slip stitch on the first loop of the chain this one here this is the first chain that we created on the button so we're going to put our needle through pull the thread in and do a slip stitch now we're going to do a half double crochet so yarn over go in to that first chain pull through you'll have three yarn over and pull all three that's one yarn over that same chain pull through you'll have three yarn over go through all three loops that's two yarn over go through that same chain pull through that's three and then we're going to do the last one go in pull through we have three yarn over pull all three and we're going to end that chain with a slip stitch so yarn in lock it in place that is on the first the first chain that we did okay now we're going to go to the next little chain space which is this one here okay this space here we're going to put a slip stitch in yarn over pull through yarn over go under and do a half a cro half crochet half yarn over pull through all three that's one yarn over go in half a double go in yarn over pull all three that's two yarn over go back in that same pull through we have three yarn over pull all three that's three yarn over go in <clears throat> yarn over pull through you have four now a slip stitch and that seals that petal okay now we're going to go to the next one and again you start with a slip stitch three half doubles or four half doubles and another slip stitch in each so slip stitch and four half doubles okay one and we have three wrap that's two that's three and that's four then you're going to do a slip stitch on that same chain and that ends oops and that ends that one now next one slip stitch and do your four half doubles see how the little petals are coming through for your flower that's three on a chain or the needle pull through one pull through that's two pull that's three yarn over go in pull this is four and we're going to end it with a slip stitch on the four uh, after the fourth one okay now last one slip stitch yarn over do four half doubles that's one that's two that one's three that one's four and end it with a slip stitch on that chain
then you're going to go to the first petal you made of your flower and you're going to do a slip stitch in okay and then what I do is I go to the back I look at my how it's laying <clears throat> and if you see um, it should look like that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the back here and I'm going to grab one of the single or the stitches and I'm going to put a stitch back there to get it flat so I'm going to grab pinch it there and I'm just going to go into one of these little stitches and I'm going to pull through and do a slip stitch let's see and then I'm going to now we have the stitch here I'm going to grab another one sorry I'm kind of working sideways and slip stitch to another ah, that's the part Let's go back in here. Got to make sure I grab it the right way. All right. Things are so little. Hi. I don't like working with little needles. Sorry about that. I'm going to go in here and fix this stitch that I just messed up. And it's a good thing it's a crochet because it had been knitting. Oh my gosh, I couldn't do knitting. Knitting, you have to be right on. All right, slip stitch. And slip stitch again. Let's slip stitch back here. Another good thing to do is always make sure you do this with good lighting so you're not skipping anything. All right, there we go. So we got that going on back there. I'm going to grab another stitch just to be on the safe side again. Um, do a slip stitch. Okay, and then I'm going to crochet 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. So now if I look at my tassel, that flower is laid out. And then I can do um, a leaf down here and close it up. So we're going to do four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over. And then you're going to count one, two, three, four. You're going to go into that fifth one that I was pinching and do a leaf. And go two. Yarn over. Go back in that same hole. Pull through. You have four. Yarn over. Now you have three, yarn over, 
now you have five, yarn over and go through two, now you have four, yarn over and go through three. And then you have two, and do a slip stitch, and do one, two, three, and pull, slip stitch there. And I could actually should be using this one, the go one, two, three, four, go into there, do a slip stitch, slip stitch on the first chain after the leaf, slip stitch on the second chain after the leaf, and then chain two, one, two, yarn over, go into that, slips that little stitch there, yarn over, you have three, yarn over, now you have two, yarn over, back into that same hole, you're making another leaf in there, you'll have four, yarn over, now you have three on your needle, yarn over, now you have five, yarn over, or go through two, now you have four, go through three loops, now you have two left over, yarn over and slip, chain three, one, two, three, go through that, pull through, do a slip stitch, chain four, one, two, three, four, go in through that big old hole you had left, and pull, do a slip stitch on the next two chains. One, one, two, and there we go. All right, now you can go keep going up and doing a single crochet on all these until you get to the top of the link. And you can do a leaf on the opposite side every four, uh, seven stitches if you want, or in between, however you want. Or you don't have to do it this way. Um, I do it this way. I go right back up. And... I make it a little bit thicker. All right, here I'm going to do another leaf in between to so yarn over, go in through that hole, pull through. You have three, yarn over, pull through two loops. One, two, yarn over, go back through that same hole, pull. You'll have four on your needle, pull through two loops. Then you'll have three, yarn over, go through, pull. Now you have five, yarn over, go through two loops. That'll give you four. Once you have four, yarn over, go through three. I know it's a, it's a lot. But once you have that pattern done, you'll get it. You'll form the cluster. Now you're going to do three, one, two, three. And right there, there's two, the two last loops or chains that you just did. You're going to put your needle through it, pull through, and do a slip stitch there. And then you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Go in through that. And you're going to keep doing this all the way to the top. And once you get to the top, you're going to start on that same one. You're going to start keep keeping it on one tassel so you're not attaching tassels and tassels. Keep it all in one chain. That's how I do it. So we'll be back when we get to the top. Okay. So as you can see, I have put leaves, I'm sorry, leaves all the way on each side. Now I'm getting to the top and I wanted to show. So 
we're going to keep doing the single crochet till we get to the top or this is not single but the slip stitch all the way through um, might not have been on focus earlier uh, so we're going to keep doing this all the way to the very top and I wanted to show you how I add another chain <clears throat> my tassel so you're not constantly attaching different ones okay so just keep doing your little slip stitch all the way to the top And then once you get to the top, you can see I'm getting there, slowly but surely. Getting there, I'm getting here. It is this kind of slow, a slow process. Once you get the hang of it, because I'm teaching you guys a at first it was a little slow because I had to get used to holding such a tiny little needle um, but then I whipped out several little of these alright so now we're getting to the top we're going to do a slip stitch and then I'm going to change chain 14 on that seam one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Hold it in place. Chain four more. One, two, three, four. That's for our first leaf. We'll yarn over. Go back. One, two, three, four. Go to the fifth chain away. Insert. You'll have three on your chain wrap around you'll have two yarn over go in through that hole pull through you'll have four yarn over pull through two now you have three yarn over in this is the same it's the same concept just keep going over and over over and over now there's that last one of the cluster yarn over pull three yarn over and there we go. It's chain three, one, two, three. Go in to the two last ones that you did. Slip it through, pull. Do a little slip stitch there. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Go back into that big old loopy hole that you started. Pull through one, go into the next the next little chain that you had there. Pull through, that's one, and then that's two. And then we're gonna go on and keep adding more. And to return back up, we just go right back up the ladder. So you're gonna do a little U-turn, go right back up and stitch it, and it'll be um, on the same thread and then you just keep doing it okay so as you can see I have the second part of my tassel attached still to the original one and I finished so you'll have three leaves on one side and then you can go right back up and in the middle of these two you can add another leaf on the other side of each one again doing a slip stitch all the way to the top once you get to the top you're going to again chain 14 and then chain your four additional ones for your leaf and you can also add your button flower so I am going right back up and I'm just going to do a slip stitch all the way up until um, I get to the top and then once I get to the top I will return back on the third tassel that chains now you can leave them like this um, you know as a single 
chain, I'm doing a double chain because I'm going right back up to those stitches. Um, but you can do it however you want. So again, we're going back up. Now on this side, I'm going to chain over and, or yarn over, go in to the middle of those two leaves and do the same thing. Do a cluster for your leaf and um, keep doing that all the way till you get to the top. So that's basically how you work this little tassel baby up to make your own little shabby chic tassel. So there you have four yarn over. And sorry, I don't know all the terminologies for this because I just crochet, ladies. I don't know. I'm not a crocheter by heart. Um, we have five yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you have four yarn over, pull through three. You'll have two on your needle, yarn over, and pull through those two. And that's your little cluster for your leaf. And then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, go into those two last chains that you made, and do a slip stitch. Pull through your yarn and do your little slip stitch. And then chain four. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> and go back to that cluster's beginning and just do a slip stitch all the way to the next. And that is all, ladies. It's not that hard. Once you have a little small pattern going, trust me, it'll go faster. Here and there, you can add your buttons wherever you want. <clears throat> wherever you want you can add buttons you can add pearls whatever you want to add to it you can add to it um, and make this however you want you can add steep barb says you can even add laces to it whichever you want to do to it it's up to you it's entirely up to you so I add additional to these when I finish making a tassel. I add different laces and other things to it. So the sky's the limit. So again, we're gonna. It's the middle of these two leaves. I'm gonna go and make a leaf on the other side. So I'm gonna yarn over, go in, and again, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go back in that hole, that same hole through now you have four yarn over pull through two loops now you have three yarn over go into that hole pull through now you have five on your hook and you're going to yarn over and go through one and two now you have four on your hook yarn over and pull through all three and leave two on your hook yarn over and pull through all two less loops and then yarn and chain three. One, two, three, go back to those two last loops. Yarn over, pull through, and do your little slip stitch. And then chain four. Two, three, four, go back to that big old hole that we made and do a slip stitch. This, so this is working on, oops, on the opposite side of your tassel and your leaves. You can do just one leaf if you want. You don't have to do this. You can just go all the way through and just make one leaf. It's up to you. It's your tassel. Um, like I said, you don't have to do it this way. Whatever works faster for you. Um, So be it. Take your time with it because, see, as you notice, for me it does take a little bit time because um, I got to have those hands moving and my hands don't move fast enough for this. So, I mean, some people can probably make a tassel in probably two minutes flat. I know for a fact I can't do that. All right.
go, Broadway. So I'm all the way to the top now. You can tell I'm not a crocheter. You're probably laughing at me. No, me, you're not. Okay. All right, so now we're to the top. I'm going to go in through the last one, do a slip stitch, and then we're going to go again back down and do 14. One, two. So we're seeing in the same chain. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And you want to kind of space out everything so it's not too cockeyed or anything like that. So I like to make some one longer. See, this one's a little bit longer, this one's a little bit shorter. So this next one's going to be kind of in between, and I'm going to put a button on the top. So I'm going to switch out my needle. I did 14. Switch out my needle. And I'm going to put the 2 mil because that's what fits in this button. Insert it into my needle. Bring the thread to the back. Pull it through. My needle sit on top of that button. I'm going to do a slip stitch through both. And then do three, one, two, three chains. Now, it all depends on the size of your button. If your button is smaller than the one I have, which this is about a 20 millimeter or 25, I think it's about a 25 millimeter. Um, I'm doing 20, uh, three chains in between. But you want to kind of play around to see how it fits around your, your button. Um, so it might be more chains. It might be less chains. It's up to the size of the button that you have, okay? And, um, you know, you might want to put a flower, you might not want to put a flower, you might just want to chain it. That's one, one, two, three, go back into the buttonhole, pull through. It's sitting on top of my, need, my button, pull through both loops, chain three, one, two, three. Go into the next buttonhole, pull through, and then chain three, one, two, three, go in there. And chain three again. One, two, three, and then you're going to do a slip stitch on that first chain that you made. Now you have a choice. You can leave it like that, or you can do your flowers. And I'm going to go ahead and do a flower. And I'm going to go into this first little loop that we did. And I'm going to do a slip stitch. And then we're going to do a half double. And we're going to do four half doubles and another slip stitch in that same chain. So go back in. You have three. Yarn over, pull all three. That's one half double, this is two half doubles, yarn over, this is three half doubles, yarn over, this is four half doubles. Oops. And then we're going to close that with a slip stitch. And then we're going to move into the next little loopy space 
Let's begin with a slip stitch and four half doubles. One, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three on chain, pull through all three, that's two, yarn over, go in, pull, you have three, chain, yarn over, pull three, that's three, and do that, and then that's the fourth one. Slip stitch is going to end it, and then we're going to move on to the next chain. Again, slip stitch, yarn over, oh, sideways angle ladies, my back is hurting, alright, it's one, yarn over, that one's two, three, that one's four, slip stitch as the end, move on to our next one, and again slip stitch, so we're going to do that and we'll be back. All right, so we're getting to the top of the third tassel and you can keep adding more to these but because I make them so thick I just do the three and then I also add different other elements to it to make it more fuller so I just do three crocheted ones and but you're welcome to do whatever you want and I just basically did 14 chains and added four for the leaf so that's pretty much it so once you get to the top and here I am getting to the top you go back into that first one, make a little slip stitch, that bundle of joy, and pull it through and snip it. And I just grab that piece that I cut out, pull it through the loop, and pull it really tight. And I locked it in place. Um, you can leave those little strands there to give it some more fullness, um, which is what I would do. But that is pretty much it, ladies. Anyway, that is that tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, like I said, I am not a crocheter. I just kind of figured out how to do that. Um, and I haven't really crocheted in quite a while. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Until next time, bye-bye.